the reaction now. We're going to hear from two governors, one Democrat, one Republican, to get some perspective. Maryland's Martin O'Malley joins me in a moment. But first, we welcome Virginia Republican Governor Bob McDonnell, who is in Richmond tonight. Uh, Governor, thanks for being here. Your thoughts on this evening and its significance? Well, it is. It's a big night for Wisconsin, but uh, I think it's a big night for America. Scott Walker's a leader with courage who said uh, he was going to create jobs, focus on economic recovery, uh, get people back to work, uh, balance the budget without raising taxes. And you know what? He did all of those things. He got results. And I think the overwhelming win tonight, Brett, it looks like a turnout nearly at presidential proportions and a margin bigger than his uh, win a year and a half ago. Uh, says that the people of Wisconsin uh, responded well. They like a leader with courage and results. Uh, and that's great for America. Governor, how much do you think it plays in November when it comes to Wisconsin? Do you think the Romney campaign, and you're closely associated with that campaign, uh, will now consider Wisconsin a possibility? Well, absolutely. Uh, the coalitions that we uh, put together for this Wisconsin campaign uh, the return, uh, Republican Governors Association invested about nine million uh, business people across the country responded to his message of free enterprise. The NRA, Americans for Prosperity, uh, everybody pitched in. Those are the same coalitions, Brett, that you're going to see behind Mitt Romney, I think, in November, because the issues are the same uh, with Obama and Romney, and that is uh, balancing the budget without uh, raising taxes, uh, doing something about this immoral and unsustainable debt, and getting people back to work. Uh, Mitt Romney can do a lot better than 8% uh, unemployment rate for 40 months. So what happened in Wisconsin, the ground game, the energy, and the issues, I think will be the same in five months in November. Is this a blow for unions across the country? Well, they certainly, this is their third try. They tried a judge, they tried several legislators, uh, and now the governor, lieutenant governor, and more senators tonight. Uh, absolutely. Although, you know, Brett, what this uh, issue, what this election really came down to tonight wasn't about the issues of uh, a year ago as much as it was uh, about the record of Scott Walker in getting results. Uh, and uh, it was about taxes and spending and jobs and economic development. It really had a little less to do with the union issues. But I do think that they were so energized in trying to defeat uh, him and his agenda on repeated attempts. And now they've been rebuffed overwhelmingly tonight. I do think it is uh, a blow uh, to the unions, and it's, but it's a, a positive step for free enterprise and job creators. Governor, you know, uh, Governor Kasich in Ohio had a pushback on his effort to, to kind of go after gold-plated pensions and, and his effort in Ohio. Uh, although Scott Walker now with his recall uh, defeat, defeating the recall, keeping in office, has had a win. How do you think this plays to embolden perhaps governors who were thinking about making some of these moves in other states? About that's a very good question because Republican governors across the country are doing some of the same things Scott Walker has been doing, uh, uh, embracing policies that uh, support the American dream. And a lot of these are tough decisions. It's looking voters in the eye and saying, you know what, we can't afford to do business the same way. Uh, in America, we got 15, 16 trillion in debt. In our states, uh, we have debt uh, deficits that need to be eliminated, 3.6 billion in Wisconsin. And uh, governors are engaging in pension reform and economic development reforms and tax cuts. And just being honest to say we've got to change the way we do business because we can't uh, afford to do things the same way. And Scott Walker was rewarded by the voters tonight. And I think uh, Mitt Romney sticking to the same kind of message about economic prosperity and reducing spending and reducing debt and deficits and creating a better environment for energy generation. He'll be rewarded, too. Governor McDonald, thank you very much for the time. A big night for your side of the aisle.